need to know. And it deals with the tip fib. Okay. Remember, we angled on the tip fib. We got angled our cassette. There is no diagonally in this. Okay. And also, you know, we set it at our 40 SID. We did a 14 by 17. And then we went up. This will not do that. <clears throat> if you set it to a 10 by 12 and you're at 40 or 12 by 10 and you go up, it's going to adjust itself back down. Do you get me? Yeah. So, therefore, the best thing I can tell you to do on the tip fib is to open it. It's a 20 by 20. Okay, is what this will go to. And then you will have to kind of diagonal your patient. So, that, this won't turn. Sorry. This will not turn. This is fixed. Really? Yes. And so, in dealing with, if your patient will fit long lines, just do long lines. But if not, you may have to just be careful. Yeah. So, I've got her angle and I've got her neutral. You got me? So, you, you're going to have to angle your patient if they don't fit long lines. Okay? And so, you'll have to open it up to 20 by 20. So, that's the main thing. And so, the, uh, when you do your foot, remember it was diagonal also, so you may have to. They'll fit lengthwise on an 8 by 10 but if not, we can try to get them to fit. So in these cases, you can actually go over the... So they, you know, it's angled that way. So just get them. You may have to do a little maneuvering to get your patient on those diagonals. She's almost there. Okay, so it may just be a little maneuvering for the <coughs> the tip fib and the foot, or the at lateral foot. But on the tip fib, you can't actually go over the yes the side. Because well, what happens is when we did a 14 by 17 and we increased our SID, the live fib was made bigger. Yeah. Okay, it says to go up because the way it diverges and it can get it in the joint. This one doesn't do that. So the all we can do is just open it. As wide as our collimation will go, to, because this is a 20 by 20, and so you're not going to clip anything by doing 20 by 20, because that's what the whole thing of our bucky will shoot. Does that make sense? Okay. So for doing the lat, I mean the AP foot. <coughs> so like I say, I would say AP foot is done on a 10 by 12 lengthwise, and I would divide my cassette in half. Okay. So now we can adjust her foot. All right. We're not going to see. This is at a twelve. We're close to eleven point nine. I'm not looking for twelve on the dot. You got me, but anywhere in there, close to it. And this should be a ten. But I know I'm dividing my cassette in half. If it's ten, really half's five, right? So I don't have to go all the way out by ten because you just told me you would do it on the ten by twelve. <coughs> There is an angle. What you have to do, you have to lower this down. Okay? Because when, when you angle this, we have to pay attention back right here. Okay? Nine or ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hard. It's hard. Okay, so now we have our angle. Okay, but you see, this is crooked or unstraight. So now we have to flatten this out. Okay, if we did not lower this whole thing, this would tilt into the tape, and then it would say uh, error or something, movement, and you'd have to get your patient off the table. You'd have to move the table off of this thing, and then it will reset itself. Okay, but if you lower it, then you angle it, and then we can. Straighten this out. It needs to match that. So if it's nine, it needs to be negative nine. Okay? That's flattened this out. Then you raise this back up. Close to the table, but not hitting the table. Okay, where did you do? I mean, I want to answer. This is the angle. Yeah, that's here. for the table. And this is the angle for this. They're opposite. Okay. So if you're angling this way, this one's going to flatten it out. If you was to angle this way, this one flattens it out. Okay? 
and then you can position your patient. <clears throat> it will be easier for you to slide your patient, okay, than to move the table. If you want to move the table, you're more than welcome to move the table. And that's for the people comping today. When you unlock the wheels, they work independently kind of each other. So if you're adjusting here, see, that'll move, but this doesn't. And so it's, it just makes it hard, guys. Yeah. So if you can, to say, can you slide over this? It's just hard. Whoever created this table is not. Miss A would say it was a man that did. <laughs> well, I'll say it. Chances are it was. <laughs> but chances are it was a man who wasn't a tech. Yeah. So, okay. you know, just because there's more men in the engineering field to, to me than women. Not that I'm. <laughs> but maybe moving this up to bring this down is creative. Well, but it changes the SID too. No, I raised it up. Okay. To show you that okay. it's going to call me back down. I raised you that. Oh, okay. So that's okay. So don't worry about that. No, everything should be shot at 40 because we're using this for everything. There is no table. You got me? There so is what, no table. Talk. Could you lower it down to 40 now? It, this won't change. This it won't change. Okay. When you do the SID, only this moves. So yeah, you can. I, but I do. Okay. To show you that it. It's going to recollimate to whatever you said it helped, no matter how high you do it. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is, so it's 40 because there's no over there. Pretend there's no table. There's no table top. Everything's done in the budget kind of deal. So, any questions on how to angle for the foot? Okay, so we lower first. Right. And then we angle back. And then we straighten it out. And then we can go back and try not to hit the table. So our emergency. Might be a good idea to get the patient off before you get it back You can. <clears throat> Alright, if you draw the foot to start with, you may want to set this up before you get the patient, which is fine. What else is that? The lateral knee. So you would do the same thing. Yeah. 